You can switch between uppercase graphics mode and upper lowercase mode by pressing the shift and commodore keys at the same time. In either mode, type basic commands without holding down the shift key. In this mode, you can type upper and lowercase letters just like a regular typewriter. You would have to shift for uppercase letters. You also can use the graphics characters on the left front of the keys, which print as in uppercase graphics mode. Hold down the Commodore key and press the graphic key. The left side graphics are ideal for creating charts, graphs, and business forms. The Escape key lets you perform many special screen editing functions, including functions utilizing the windowing capability of the plus four. Windows are areas of the screen defined by you that may be used as workspace without affecting the rest of the screen. The Escape key can perform several window editing functions, as well as many other regular uses, such as inserting, deleting, and scrolling. The Escape key is typically used with standard alphabet keys. To activate a function, press the Escape key, followed by one of the keys listed below. A, for automatic insert mode. B, to set the bottom right corner of the screen window. C, to cancel automatic insert mode. D, to delete a current line. I, insert a line. J, move to the beginning of the current line. K, move to the end of the current line. L, to turn on scrolling. M, to turn off scrolling. N, returns to normal screen display size. O, cancels insert, quote, reverse, and flash modes. P, erases everything up to the cursor position on the current line. Q, erases everything up to the end of the current line from the cursor position. R, to reduce screen display. T, to set the top left corner of the screen window. V, scrolls the screen up. W, scrolls the screen down. And X, cancels the escape function. The four keys at the top of your keyboard are special function keys that let you save time by performing repetitive tasks with the stroke of just one key. They're the programmable function keys. You can display what each key does by typing key and pressing return. Here's what each key does. Key one enters one of the graphics modes when you supply the number of the graphics area and press return. For example, graphics two, which is split screen, high resolution mode. On computers with built-in software, key one is redefined so that pressing it activates the software package. Key two prints deload on the screen. All you do is enter the program name to load a program from disk and hit return instead of typing out deload yourself. Key three lists a directory of files on the disk in the disk drive. Key four clears the screen, even in one of the graphics modes. Key five prints desave on the screen. So all you do to enter the program name to save the current program on disk is press return. Key six runs the current program. Key seven displays a listing of the current program. And key eight, the help key highlights errors in program statements in flashing print. To use one of these functions, just press the appropriate function key. You need to use the shift key to get functions four, five, six, and seven. You can redefine any of these keys to perform a function that suits your needs. Redefining is easy, using the key command. You can redefine the key from basic programs or change them at any time in direct mode. The new definitions are erased when you turn off your plus four. You can redefine as many keys as you want and as many times as you want. Let's talk about the help key. When you make an error in a program, the plus four displays an error message to tell you what you did wrong. These error messages are further explained in section four of the plus four encyclopedia in your user's manual. You can get more assistance with errors by using the help key. After an error message, press help to locate your error. When you press help, the line with the error is displayed on the screen with the error flashing on and off. On page 206 and 207 in your user manual, you'll find some easy to follow sound effects programs, such as Wolf Whistle, Computer Maniac, Telephone, Busy Signal, Bubbles, and Zappy. Now let's talk about using graphics and colors. Each letter key contains two different graphic characters. Now follow along with us, these exercises, as we create different shapes. First, a large circle. Step one, you press down the shift lock key. Then press the letter U, and then the letter I. Press the return key. Press the letter J, then the letter K and press the return key again. You should see a large circle. To make a snake, first, press down the shift lock key, then press U, I, U, I, U, I. Press the return key. 
That's three U's and three I's. Press K, then J, then K, then J, then K, then J. Three K's, three J's. And press the return key. That's a snake. Now that you have a basic understanding of your plus four and the workings of your keys and the keyboard, it is time now to turn off the tape and begin to enjoy your computer. Refer to your integrated software manual for complete descriptions and instructions regarding the uses of the four built-in software programs for your plus four. The tape you've been watching has been designed to introduce you to some of the very basic functions of your Commodore plus four. As you read through your manuals, you'll find many new and exciting ways to use your computer. We hope your knowledge and enjoyment grow with each new program you pursue. So from the people at Urban General, happy computing.